Hi, I'm John Jennings with Rory Labs, and this is the R10 ribbon microphone. So we've been making ribbon microphones in Burbank, California since the 1990s. And we are in studios all over the world and on live stages. Uh, but the one question that we've gotten more than any other over the years has been, can you make a less expensive Royer ribbon? Is that possible? Uh, not everybody can afford the, to buy a 121 or a 122. The, the price point is high because they're very expensive microphones to build. But in answer to that question of a lower priced Royer Labs microphone, the R10 is it. This microphone is a fraction of the price of a 121, and it's hand built in the Royer uh, Burbank facility, and it's all of a Royer ribbon microphone. So the R10 has a three layer windscreen system. And this was designed to protect the ribbon element from wind. With all ribbon microphones, including all Royers, wind is the enemy that can stretch the ribbon element. But this three layer system allows the microphone to be used outside on live gigs. And it also protects it against pee popping and other wind that can hit the ribbon element in the studio. It has another effect too, and that's that it cuts down a little bit on the low bass. So if you're close miking a guitar cabinet uh, or an acoustic instrument, you're gonna get a little less bass buildup because of that three layer windscreen system. In every ribbon microphone, you have a transducer, which is the motor that picks up sound, kind of like the capsule in a condenser microphone. The ribbon transducer in the R10 is based on the R121's ribbon transducer. Uh, it has a 2.5 micron uh, ribbon element, just like the 121, and it goes through our patented direct corrugation process. So it's, it's a very tough ribbon element that can take a lot of sound pressure and sounds fantastic. Just like with the 121, the ribbon in the R10 is offset toward the front. We have a patent on that, the offset ribbon patent. And what this does is it puts the ribbon element closer to the front of the microphone than to the back. This gives you more room to move the ribbon backward into the microphone in high SPL sound situations. And the R10 has a David Royer designed custom transformer. And this transformer was designed to give a ton of headroom if you're recording very loud, uh, electric guitars or drums or instruments that uh, you might run into a headroom issue on. You'll have a lot of headroom with this, 
Uh, it does have 5 dB less sensitivity than a 121. Uh, so if you're recording acoustic instruments, uh, you might want a high gain microphone preamplifier or one of those inline boosters to get the volume up a little higher before you get to your mic pre. So the R10 comes with a swivel mount and this mount allows you to get into very tight places very easily. You just get it to where you want, tighten the mount and you are good to go. So we've been asked what's the difference between a 121 and an R10 in terms of the sound. Uh, the 121's bass is tighter and the high end is a little more sweet and open, but the R10 is a wonderful microphone. A lot of people who own 121s already are getting R10s because it's another uh, Royer voice in, in their microphone uh, closet. And you can also use it in ways that you wouldn't want to use the 121. You take it on the road, stick it on a kick drum, it's good. it just takes a little more abuse. So the R10 is an extremely versatile ribbon microphone that you can use on so many different things and in so many different situations. Uh, I've used it on electric guitar and drums and fiddle and a number of things with great success. Try it on whatever you want to stick a ribbon on to get that very warm, natural ribbon pickup and um, let us know how you like it. Mm -hmm.